Hey guys, um, it is Wednesday, April 24th, and um, we're at 64,500. And today I just want to talk about the relationship between fund flows and Bitcoin price. And everybody has always been talking about as if it was always the fund flows that drove the price, but there's also this relationship that you can see here from the the price peaked on uh, March 14th, and all of a sudden the fund flows really slowed down. So, what does that tell you? I think that tells you two things. The first thing that it tells you is that there's definitely a relationship in the other way, right? That Bitcoin price, if Bitcoin price is going down, fund flows will slow down or go negative. That that's just a fact. Uh, and the second thing I think it tells you is that. Fund flows tend to amplify bull moves. So I think that's really the, the way to think about this is that we've got this friend that's there for the bull markets that basically loses your address in a bear market. And that's the way to think about these uh, new ETFs. Um, there is this buying. It is long-term buying, but it's only long-term buying when it looks like the price is going up. If it looks like the price is going down, the fund flows just slow down to a trickle. Um, now, I still think it's a great thing. I think that this is a huge plus for Bitcoin to have these uh, this enormous uh, uh, set of capital. And I do think that the mechanics of the scarcity of Bitcoin and the demand for Bitcoin as, as a non-custodial asset are going to increase. And once that comes back in with the fund flows as a booster, a turbo booster. I think we're going to get to spectacular new prices. So a short episode, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.